Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to share some of the great work made by this game creation community. You may know that me and my brother have created five game development courses. Each one teaches students how to make a unique video game, from top-down shooters to turn-by-turn -turn strategy games. And so get ready to see what people brought to life using our tutorials. Hopefully this will inspire you to also learn how to make games. The links to each course is in the description, and by using them, you'll get a massive discount with each course priced at $12 or less. The most simple course we've made teaches aspiring game developers how to create a dodging game. This is an intro to the vast world of game dev, where we teach the fundamental basics of the Unity game engine, the c -sharp programming language, and game art. When starting out your journey, it's key to create very small and simple projects, and actually finish and publish those. This will give you momentum, build up your portfolio, and teach you many aspects of game development, from the idea phase to launching and marketing. Developer Tarek Knight did exactly that with Sky Blitz Chronicles, making a cute, colourful and fun arcade dodging game. Both this game and Falling Stars put a spin to the project by adding hearts you can collect to boost your health, and not simply hazards falling from the sky. Dino Clash has a super neat art style, same for Magic Dash. You'll notice these creations feel, sound and look different from the little project me and my brother created in the course, and that's exactly what we encourage developers to do take the knowledge we share and then apply it to their own projects, adding a unique spin to their work. That's a lot more powerful than copying and pasting. Next up, we have a top-down shooter course. This is an excellent follow-up to the intro to game dev. We'll dive a lot deeper into programming and game art, learning cool animation tips and tricks, making a boss fight, various weapons the player can wield, a spawning system, and three unique enemy behaviors. Game creator Mayhem Manny learned from our course and applied this newfound knowledge to create Bug Bite Billy, a stylish alien blasting shooter. The animations are top notch. I mean, just look at this yucky alien and how all its legs move. We basically animate characters directly inside of Unity, first splitting up all these sprites that make up the character so they can be moved independently, then rigging by parenting objects in the hierarchy, and finally using Unity's animation timeline to set keyframes and bring creatures and characters to life. Cryptic is another beautiful but dangerous world. The main menu reminds me of Hollow Knight, and the monster designs are stunning. In this course, I teach developers how to paint characters using some very basic brushes. I also share some tips and tricks on creating cartoony artwork with thick outlines and hard shadows. Wizard Battle really runs with that. It's such a nice experience. The effects and particles are extremely well done, and the sound effects just ramp up the game juice. My brother and I were delighted to see that this course also helps developer Gamecraft Studio make the artwork for their fun one-screen roguelike for Sparta, now available on Steam. This hopefully goes to show that although the project we make is relatively small and simple, it can be greatly expanded on, and perhaps even turned into a commercial release. Or maybe you can use the new art or programming techniques for your current project, improving it in some way. Let's now take a look at this strategy course. Here we create a turn-by-turn two-player fantasy battle game. We explore game art, programming, effects, sounds, game design, everything that makes up a finished project. Like the top-down shooter course, this is aimed at intermediate level developers, so it's probably best you go through the intro to game dev before tackling this. Developer Caviart turned his board game Whiskey Bravo into a video game with the help of this course. And that's a really fun idea, since turn-based games can be a lot easier and faster to prototype on paper first, and then turn digital. So perhaps you can design your own turn-based game with cardboard and some pens, and then turn it into a video game. Tactical CMDR is a unique multiplayer turn-based strategy game where opponents are hidden. It reminds me a little of Stratego. In this course, we really create a basic open canvas you can then add and innovate upon. Currently, our most popular course is on online multiplayer game creation. We make a simple arcade game, which can be played by two players on different machines using Photon 2, which is an add-on to Unity. We love the fact that you can easily combine the courses, using bits of knowledge and techniques from each to create a unique world. For example, you could try making a multiplayer top-down shooter after having watched these two courses, or like Tactical CMDR, 
an online multiplayer strategy game. Perhaps after having watched the intro course and then doing the top-down shooter one, you can add an expansion to your first game, where the player not only dodges obstacles, but can also shoot fireballs from a magic staff to ward off creatures coming from both sides. To return to the multiplayer course, let me introduce you to Smasher, an extremely cute two-player experience. Instead of having a golden ray connecting the two players, both are armed with a deadly mace which squishes foes. Everything is extremely polished and as always, it's a big bonus that the developer didn't only copy, but made his own unique game. Bread and Fred is another original multiplayer creation, with a superb pixel art style and extremely cute penguin player characters. You try climbing a mountain, with both penguins linked by a rope, which helps them reach new heights. Finally, we have a 2D platformer course. This is an all-time classic. There's no doubt that platformers are very well loved, especially by indie game developers. In this course, we create a nice variety of creatures, teach melee and ranged combat, make an unlockable level system, and build a flexible player controller that can double jump, wall jump, and even wall slide. Aether Cry was made with the help of this course. It has a haunting atmosphere, great parallax to add extra depth to the 2D worlds, cute creature designs, and neat sound effects. Bullet Force looks, feels, and sounds very different. It's chunky, fast-paced, and very challenging. Note that if you purchase any one of these game-making courses, you'll also have access to that particular course's Discord server. There you'll be able to talk to fellow students, share your work, ask for help or give help, and play games made by this community, including the ones I've shown in this video. Each course is priced between $10 and $12. This is the case for the next three days using the links in the description. We hope this has been inspiring and perhaps you'll consider joining in and creating your own video game. If you're not sure you'll like our tutorials or teaching style, then watch some of the free tutorials right here on YouTube. There's over a hundred from standalone videos like creating a ranged combat system, making juicy environments, or animating game characters, to mini-series such as the Endless Runner tutorials or random level generation system. This way you can get a good taste for Blackthorn Prod and be more willing to spend some money on our larger courses, which of course is a great support to me and my brother. Thank you for watching, cheers!